Hi guys, hope you're all well. Today we're going on another adventure. We're going to the town of Orwella and we're gonna do the hike Cruz de la Muela. We're meeting our friends Bill and Becca there. So it's about a 30 minute drive. So we'll see you when we get there. Cruz de la Muela is the most popular mountain in Orwella. You can see the cross on the top from all around the town. This hike has been recommended to me multiple times by friends and local Facebook groups. This trail is relatively easy and well signposted all the way up. It's not recommended to hike on rainy days or in the height of summer, so make sure to check the weather forecast before you go. A few things to remember. Make sure your phone is fully charged in case of emergencies and to get some awesome photos at the top. Bring plenty of food and water, but please remember to take all your rubbish back down with you. Wear good shoes for walking and layer up your clothes because hiking up can get quite sweaty and it does get windy at the top. So there are a few different access points to this trail, but the one that we went to is pretty easy to get to. I'll leave a link in the description on the Google Maps so you know where to park. And already it seems really clearly signposted. As I said, there are a few access points and one of the ones I saw online is that you can walk through the lemon trees. So we've just passed the lemon trees, we were walking up this way, but both ways look easy enough to get through. So there's the cross, that's our goal. So yeah. we're this far away now. We'll see how much closer we get. Later. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get to the top. Totally. We're not giving up until we're at the top. <laughs> and as you can see behind me, that is the Redavan mountain. And if you haven't already watched my other vlog where we do a Via Ferrata on that mountain, I'll leave a link up here. So make sure to check that one out. It's saying the cross on the top was made in 1948, re renovated in 1998. So the 70th anniversary was 2019. Three years ago. So it's 73 years old. Wow. Wow. come into a zigzag and I'm not sure what else it says. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. <laughs> the views are amazing, aren't they? I say we're not far from the top, you know. I know. Yeah. Oh, so we're having to take a few little breaks because it is pretty steep. There's a few areas where the path is really smooth and really nice to walk on with beautiful views, beautiful scenery. But there are a few steep patches, so every chance we get where there's a bit of shading, we are taking a little break. Wow. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, got a nice little place to sit here. Tree. <laughs> on the road again. Sing it, Shrek. I can't wait to get on the road again. Look at that boulder. <laughs> that that boulder. is a nice boulder. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is getting really steep. How are you doing, Becca? I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh my god. Nearly there. We can do this. There it goes. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> it's nice every so often when there's a bit of shade and you can just chill. If it was like all in the sun, I think I'd struggle even more. Oh, nice to have a break every two minutes. <laughs> 
and the mountain tricks you, you you get to a bit where it goes like that and you think you're at the top and then you realize there's like way more to go i keep saying we're nearly there but i'm losing hope <laughs> You can! <gasps> Wicked. At least you've got something to aim for now. We did it! Oh, should we go back down? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Now we're here, I want to say, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was. To be honest, it's a really good trail. It's a nice trail, easily signposted, and a clear pathway. Not too long, some in the shade, some in the sun. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this trail. If um, Even if you're a beginner, it's a good one to start with, because there's a few places that you can stop and rest, and you've got this at the end, and this beautiful view. Should we go and have some lunch? Yeah. Wow. Look at that view there. So cool. So we've had some lunch and we're gonna head back down now, but I've just read that this cross is made of iron and it's 1,200 kilos. Get a lot for that in a scrap yeah. wheel, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Joke thing. <laughs> that was a good one, I had to take it. <laughs> and that joke belongs to... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I was thinking, do you think they built it up here or do you think a helicopter brought it on here or something? Well, considering it was done in, what, 1948, I don't think, oh. <laughs> I don't think it was built by helicopter. <laughs> True. Yeah, they used UFOs. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> mm. We'll leave that thought with you. <laughs> so we did take our time and we did take a few breaks, but it took us just under two hours to get to the top. We're heading back down now, so I'll let you know how long it takes us to get down. I'm guessing it's going to be a lot shorter. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, it's a lovely hike. It's not too hot either, is it? No, we've done a few hikes in like the middle of August. <laughs> yeah. It's really hot, so this is nice. What is it, March? Nearly, nearly April. Yeah, nearly April. But yeah, we always make the mistake of doing hikes in Spain in the middle of summer. Going down is a lot easier, isn't it? Go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we haven't had one, but this is the first like stop. Yeah. yeah. And I've only stopped for a photo. <laughs> What I really like, which Becca actually inspired me to do, is to buy these little cartons of fruit juices for when you come on hikes and stuff like this, because they're so small and fit in your bag. But it's nice just to get like a little fruity taste when you're walking around. So we're pretty much at the bottom now, so I'm going to end the vlog here. We timed it and it took us about an hour to get to the bottom and um, we didn't really stop. So I think we've gone down at a pretty good pace and it took us about two hours to get to the top, but that was with a few breaks. So it's about a three hour hike in total. But I would definitely, definitely recommend this, especially if you're not a confident hiker. I'd say this path is done really well, really well signposted, all that. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. It would really help my channel out. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you next week.